Welcome again. Right now, we're at John chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Jesus rebukes an Old Testament leader for not knowing this. Let's read this. Verse 1. Now, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to him by night. Okay, he's trying to sneak around here. And said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. Oh, he tries to butter it up. See that? For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Wow. We got this Pharisee coming to Jesus. In fact, more than just a Pharisee, he was a leader. Okay. And, uh, and he comes to Jesus at night. So he's trying not to be, he doesn't want anybody to know that he's coming to talk to Jesus. And what does he say to Jesus? Well, he just kind of butters him up. He just kind of flatters him. Oh, rabbi, teacher, we know that you're a teacher that come from God, for no one can do the signs that you do unless God is with you. And how did Jesus respond to that? Let's read it. Jesus answered him, Most certainly I tell you, unless one is born anew, or in the Greek manuscripts it means again, born again, or born from above, he can't see, can't even see God's kingdom, okay? Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, most certainly I tell you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he can't enter into God's kingdom. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Don't marvel that I said to you, you must be born anew, born again. The wind... And the, the Greek word here for wind is the same word that we use for spirit or breath. The wind blows where it wants to, and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from and where it is going. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. You don't know where he comes from or where he is going. Nicodemus answered him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, are you a teacher of Israel and don't understand these things? Now, this is very important point here. Here's Nicodemus, a leader of Israel, a Pharisee. He, he didn't have the New Testament to read from at this time. You know, he didn't have the Gospels to read from at this time. He didn't have the, the, the letters of Paul to read from at this time. All he had from was, all he had was the Tanakh. Okay, all he had was the, the ancient scriptures that were in existence before the birth of Yeshua, before the birth of Jesus. Okay, so how could Jesus rebuke Nicodemus for not knowing about being born again? Because the answer is simple. The answer is simple, my friend. The whole concept of being born again is all through the so-called Old Testament. Okay, for example, Abraham, he used to be Abram, he used to be Avram, and became Avraham, okay? He used to be Abram, and then he became Abraham. He was born again. Jacob, he used to, he used to be Jacob, then he became Israel, okay? How did, how did that happen? He had a mighty experience with God. He wrestled with God. And he became born again. The old is gone. The old self is gone. The sinful self, the worldly self, the secular self is completely dead. Okay? Your, your sinful self is dead. And you are risen in the spirit. A new creation. That's what Paul meant when he said a new creation in Christ. Okay? A new creation is being born again. Now, I remember when I had the born-again experience and a couple of my neighbors asked me, what happened to you? It's like a night and day difference. What happened? You know, and I got the, uh, the opportunity to preach the gospel to these, uh, to these neighbors. You know, I said, what happened? I got born again. You know, I'm a new creation. I'm not the same as I was a few weeks ago. You know, I'm a completely different person. And so it's very important to understand that when Jesus came, everything he taught, every so-called new commandment he gave wasn't really brand new. It was all from the Torah. It was all from the Tanakh, okay? And so everything you need to know is in the Tanakh, in the, what 
in the Christian Bible wouldn't be called the Old Testament. So Jesus rebuked Nicodemus for not knowing about being born again when he only had the so-called Old Testament scriptures and, you know, Apocrypha, such as, you know, what we see in the Septuagint and other writings as well. Another thing is, when Jesus said you must be born of water and spirit, born of water means being born of the flesh, being born in natural, a natural way, born of water. But born of the spirit is when you are born in the spirit of God. And again, this brings to mind another issue in our society today. And this is a lot of people believe that everybody is a child of God. And they're like, everybody is a child. You know, all of us human beings, we're all God's children. Not what the Bible says. It's not what the Bible says. Jesus says you must be born again to see the, the kingdom of God. Why would you have to be born again in order to even, I mean, this is not even just entering the kingdom of God. This is just seeing the kingdom of God. You must be born again. Born again means you have to be born of God, which means you have to become God's child. Many people are not God's children, you know? Consider this, in John chapter eight, Jesus was talking to a lot of people and he told them all, you are children of the devil. You're, you're children of Satan. How can you be a child of Satan and a child of God at the same time? You can't. I'm telling you something, there's a lot of children of the devil out there, okay? Not children of God. A lot of people are the children of the devil, okay? This is a concept that Jesus brought down to us, you know, as recorded in John chapter 8. So you have to be born again to become a child of God. And I, I'm telling you, children of God are very few and very far between. Remember, Jesus said, enter through the narrow gate. Few there be that find it. You know, Jesus said, don't go on the wide path, the wide path where the whole world's on the wide path, the path that leads to destruction. Go on the narrow, the narrow path. Few there be that find it. When he said few, he meant few. Few there be that find it. Few there be that find the path that is actually the path of life and really become children of God, okay? Once again, thanks for listening. It's my prayer that this was a blessing to you. And as you seek God, as you read the scriptures, as you meditate upon the scriptures, as you pray, as you press into the kingdom of God, remember Jesus said, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. As you take the kingdom of God by force, I, it's my prayer that God grants you revelation beyond that of, of your imagination. And that... Uh, and that your eyes are opened and that he enlightens the eyes of your understanding and, and God shows you great and mighty things. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, thank you.